everyone. Welcome to Saturday Morning Yoga. I'm Jamie and we're all here together ready to enjoy our yoga adventure. Now, today we've got a really exciting adventure, one that's got it all. It's got scorpions, it's got snakes, it's got crocodiles, it's got cats. It's the camel version of Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. It's got it all. We are going to see if we can rescue that crystal. We're going to keep those ghosts of the temple at bay and we're going to work out who that new snake charmer is. Let's go find out. everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to start. So let's take a look through our cosmonoculars and find out who our story is about today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. <gasps> wow! Look at those colours. It's so beautiful. And those shapes. Oh, look, can you see it? It's getting clearer. Yes, it's a camel. It's Alan the camel. What's Alan doing? He's doing yoga. He's doing dog pose. This is very exciting. We're off to Egypt today to go and find Alan the camel. He's a tour guide and he knows all about ancient Egypt, the pharaohs and the tombs and the temples. We're going to be brave explorers today. So let's get going. Now, let's get our brain and our body in gear. We sit with our legs crossed, our hands on our knees and we take a deep breath in through our nose and a deep breath out of our nose as well. And again, big breath in, big breath out. Mm. That's it everyone, we're ready. And look, standing on the windowsill is a pelican who's going to take us to Egypt. Coming up to stand, the pelican is standing on one leg. Take your hand to the side and see if you can capture your foot. Try not to wobble. The pelican has a very long neck, very graceful, and a big bulbous beak. So let's puff out our cheeks. Very good, everyone. We hop onto the pelican, taking our feet down, folding forwards, taking our hands down, and the pelican's wings begin to swoop as we fly, headed towards Egypt. Wow, this is so exciting. And look, I think we can see Egypt in the distance. We're coming into land, everyone. Coming down onto your knees. Tuck yourself up into a tiny little landing ball. Ooh. Sitting up. Wow, we've landed in Cairo, which is the capital city of Egypt. It's very noisy and bustling with all these people about. And the sunshine is super duper hot. Now, in Egypt, they believe in the sun god, Ra. So let's stand up and say hello to Ra. Standing up, reach up to the sun and say, hello, Ra. Yes, well done, everyone. Now, we'd better put some sun cream on, hadn't we? Yeah, blob, 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 blob. Rub it on your arms and the other one. Blob, 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 blob. Rub it on your legs all the way down and all the way on the backs as well and the sides and blob 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 rub it on your tummy yeah and blob 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 let's rub it on our face that's good very good everyone now we're protected from the sun but who's this coming towards us it's a little donkey he's very excited to see us he does a little donkey kick coming down to your knees take your hands down and lift your bottom to the sky step one leg in look between your hands and do a little hoppity hoppity hop and again 
Hoppity, hoppity, hop. Yes, a little donkey kick. He explains that I'm here to take you to see Alan the camel. He's at the Crystal Temple and he's told me to bring you. Oh, thank you. You're to ride me a bit like a horse. Oh, OK, well, we can ride a horse, so we get on. Coming up onto one knee, take your hands up and above your head and off we go. The donkey rides us all the way past the pyramids. Coming down to two knees, take your hands in front of you, tuck your toes and lift your bottom to the sky, making yourself into a pyramid shape. Wow, the pyramids were where they buried their pharaohs, the kings. They're like great big tombstones or graves. And who's this trotting out from behind the pyramid? Coming down to your knees, it's Alan, the camel, coming high onto your knees. Keep your toes tucked behind. Take your hands onto your hips and press your hips forward, rolling your shoulders back as you lift your chest up to the sky and blow a great big happy raspberry. <gasps> oh, thanks, Alan. We know he doesn't mean to be rude. We say shukran to the donkey, which means thank you in Egyptian. Sitting with our legs crossed, hands together. Shukran. Very good, everyone. Alan takes us to shelter in the shade of a sphinx. Lying on your bellies, everybody. Come high onto your elbows. Roll your shoulders back, making your neck super duper long like a sphinx. A sphinx has the body of a lion and the head of a lady. Alan has some bad news. He's just come from the Crystal Temple and something very precious has been taken. The Crystal Rose. Now we all know that we shouldn't take things that don't belong to us, but this Christ Crystal Rose is very, very special. It belongs to the Sun Queen. And if she notices it's gone, her spirit will awake and she'll release a ferocious curse all over the land. We have to get it back before it's too late. Alan knows who we need to go and ask for help. He needs our help too. We need to go and find Widget the cat. Coming up onto all fours. Widget the cat is another tour guide and knows everyone and anyone who is in Egypt. She arches her back, looking into her belly button. And then she wiggle waggles her tail as she lifts her chest forward as she says, How do you do? I've been keeping an eye on the new snake charmer working outside the temple and I wonder whether he might have something to do with it. Have a look. We sit up and with our binoculars, our thumbs and fingers together, we look through and have a little peep at the snake charmer. <gasps> Oh, look, there he is, sat with his legs crossed, sitting on your bottoms, cross your legs. He's playing his punji or his snake charmer flute. Take your hands in front of you. He closes his eyes to concentrate more on his tune. In front of him is a basket. Coming to lie on your bellies, take your feet towards your bottom and reach around to grab your ankles. Then you're going to breathe in as you lift yourself up, making yourself into a basket shape. This is where the cobra lives, the snake. And look, yes, we can see it now, wiggling away. Stretch your legs long, hands underneath your shoulders and wiggle up like a snake. What's that? We can see it, glinting on top of the cobra's head. It's the crystal rose. Tuck your toes, lift your bottoms to the sky, bend your knees and look forward between your hands. Then jump yourself, cross your legs and sit. The snake charmer opens his eyes. And he sees the snake showing the crystal rose on its head. Hands on your shoulders. The snake charmer stands up without touching his hands on the floor already. Whoop. He folds all the way forwards as he takes the lid, puts it on top of the basket. Then he lifts up the whole basket, pops it on his head and starts to run. <laughs> 
We've got to go after him. He's got the crystal rose. We have to take big steps to keep up with Alan, whose long legs cover a lot of ground. Coming to the side. Big step. And another one. Big step. And another one. Big step. One more, everyone. Big step. Oh, no. We've come to a river. And it's full of rather large, menacing-looking crocodiles. A crocodile-infested river. Lying on your side, everyone. Take your arms and legs long as they can go. Then open and close your crocodile jaw. Oh, snap, snap. Very good, everyone. And can you wiggle, waggle your crocodile tail? Yes, well done. Now, we have to work out what we're going to do. We sit up. And we cross our legs and we look all the way over one side. Mm -mm, no answers over there. And all the way over the other side. And we spot a rather wobbly looking rope bridge. Turning to the side, feet flat, knees bent, hands behind your bottom. Lift yourself up, making a bridge shape. Oh, it looks a bit scary trying to cross that, especially with all those crocodiles snapping away beneath us. But Alan has an idea. He will do one of his big, funny camel raspberry sounds to distract them. Coming all the way down, turn yourself round, tuck your toes, come up high onto your knees and take your hands behind your hips. Press your hips forward, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest to the sky. Big camel raspberry sound now, everyone. Ready? <laughs> Sure enough, it does the trick and all of the crocodiles are watching Alan as we stand up and very quietly ooh, balance, crossing one foot in front of the other on the very wobbly rope bridge. We're nearly there. Well done, everyone. Keep going. Oh. Luckily, we meet Alan on the other side of the bridge. He crosses the river further up where the crocodiles aren't haunting him. Now, look. We are standing, staring at a ginormous mountain, coming into mountain pose. Stabilise your feet and your arms, standing very still. Alan tells us that this mountain is called Viper Mountain. <gasps> and there we can see the snake charmer running towards it. Ooh, we've got to get after him. But this time Alan has a better idea. He says we can get on his back, then we can cover the ground a bit faster. He lowers his big body down, coming down to your knees, everybody. Now take your hands all the way forwards. Keep walking them forwards and forwards and forwards until your chest reaches the ground. We sit up and we get on Alan the camel's back, wrapping one leg around his hump and then the other leg around his hump. We hold on very tightly as we start to trot across the desert towards Viper Mountain. We're catching up with the snake charmer and when we reach the foot of the mountain, we come to a stop. We stand up, jump our feet wide and put our hands above our head because we are face to face with a cave. Now the cave is shut with a large stone door. Hmm, how are we going to get in there? <gasps> Look, someone's coming. It's the snake charmer. Quick, everyone, hide. Tuck yourself up into a tiny little ball behind the rocks. Shh, we wait here and we listen to see what the snake charmer will do. We hear him say some words. Open sesame. <gasps> then the rumbling sound of the doors opening. <gasps> Look. Oh, we can hear his footsteps. They're disappearing. The door's closing behind him. Yes, we sit up. That's the secret code to get into the cave. Come on, everyone, let's try it. We stand up in front of the cave door and we say, Open sesame. Look, it's worked. The door starts to open. Coming down to your knees, take your leg to the side and your hand to the sky. The door closes behind us. Take two knees together, your leg to the other side, your arm to the sky. We're inside. We better tiptoe. Can you go high? 
high up on your tippy tiptoes. Careful, we don't want anyone to notice we're in. Oh, well, be careful. Look, there's a scorpion scuttling around down there on the ground, coming down onto your bellies. Let's try a scorpion pose. We take our fingertips out wide, tenting our fingers and lifting our elbows. Then we lift up one of our legs and press it up to the sky. Using our other foot, we hoist it high and then we flick our tail over towards our head like a scorpion. Let's try the other side now, lowering yourself down. Lift the other leg, press it to the sky and hoist it up, kicking it up and over towards your head, making a scorpion pose. Well done, everyone. Lowering all the way back down. We come up to sit again as we get to the back of the cave and notice that it's full of candles. Lying on your back, take your arms out wide and lift your legs up, coming into your candle pose. Oh, the candles are flickering. It looks very pretty in here. And they're surrounding a large stone table. Bend your knees, come up to sit, feet flat, hands behind you. Lift your bottom up, making yourself into a table. On the table, glistening and gleaming, is the crystal rose. <gasps> wow, the snake charmer comes into the room. <gasps> oh, I, I didn't take it. I just thought I would, um, I would give it a clean and then I would return it. <gasps> we know he's not telling the truth, is he? It never pays to lie. <gasps> All of a sudden, the snake charmer jumps out of his skin like a monkey coming up onto your feet, on your tippy toes. And after three, let's jump like a monkey. Ready? One, two, three. Whee! He's just been bitten by the scorpion. See, it doesn't pay to lie. Something bad will always happen. We come up onto our knees as we explain. He really shouldn't have taken the crystal rose. It doesn't belong to you. And now that the Sun Queen, she'll notice that it's gone and she'll release a ferocious, awful curse on the whole of the land. Oh, the snake charmer is very sorry and he says he will do whatever he can to help us return it. He won't steal or lie ever again. We put the crystal rose carefully into our backpacks, turning around so you can see. Let's put one hand in and our other hand up and see if we can find our fingers. And the other way, our other hand in and our other hand up and see if we can find our fingers. Well done. We've put the crystal rose into our backpack and then we spy an old mine train. What a great way to get back to the crystal temple. We stand up and jump on board. Pull the horn, hoo hoo. Clickety clack, clickety clack, here we go around the track. Clickety clack, clickety clack, here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go until we're going very slow. Pull the horn, hoo hoo. We hit the fresh air and we notice there's a whirl of sand kicking up from the desert. Jump your feet wide, arms wide, starting to spin. Oh no, it looks like a desert storm. In the sky, there is a clap of thunder. Take your arms wide and clap. And another clap. And one more clap. The Sun Queen must have released this ferocious storm. We have to get the crystal rose back. We jump our feet together as we come to the mouth of the crystal temple door. There are lots of very tall statues, stone statues standing in a line. They have big, wide eyes. Oh, it's a bit scary, but we tiptoe very quietly down the corridor so as not to disturb those statues. At the end of the corridor, we find Widget, the cat, coming onto all fours, arching your back up, looking into your belly button, and then dipping your belly down to wiggle waggle your tail. Quickly, Cosmic Kids, come this way. We have to return that crystal rose to the statue of the Sun Queen. We head into the main room of the Crystal Temple where we see a beautiful statue. Take your bottom to the side and your legs to the side, taking one leg further behind the other so your foot is touching your thigh. The beautiful Sun Queen is stretched up 
with her hands in the shape like she should be holding a crystal rose. We need to put the crystal rose back soon. Now we stand up and we fold forwards, putting the crystal rose very gently back into the Sun Queen's hands. Then we bow our heads as we walk backwards, leaving the Sun Queen and crossing our fingers that that's done it. On our way out, we see a little scarab beetle who's on his back with his legs in the air. Lying on your back, take your legs up and hold on to your feet. Help! In Egypt, the scarab beetle is thought to be good luck. We flip him over. And once he's the right way up, he says, thanks. And off he goes. Maybe this will be the luck that we need. We head outside of the crystal temple where the storm has mysteriously settled. But we know why. Together with Alan the camel coming down to your knees, hands on your hips, press your bottom forward and let's have a nice big juicy raspberry. <laughs> oh, thanks, Alan. And Widget the cat coming onto all fours, arching your back up and then dipping it down, wiggle waggling your tail. Meow. And us, the Cosmic Kids, we are all heroes today. Let's take hero pose. Take your hands down, take your feet a little bit wider and untuck your toes and come down to sit in between your ankles, shuffling your feet in a little bit so your toes point all the way back. We crisscross our fingers in front of us, turn them inside out and lift them above our head and we have a little cheer. We did it, and the snake charmer has promised never to steal or lie again. It's time for us to go home. And look, what's landing in front of us is a magic carpet. Take one leg to the side and your other leg to the side. Arms wide, we give Alan a big hug goodbye. And off we go. Ooh. Heading out into the starry night sky. Wow, what a night, what a day, what an adventure. We lie all the way back on our magic carpet, enjoying some time just to rest and think about how adventurous and brave we've been. We've been real heroes today. We managed to save the crystal rose and teach the snake charmer something very important, that lying is never a good idea that we must always try and tell the truth. And that stealing something, taking something that doesn't belong to us isn't right. And if we do something wrong like stealing or lying, lying, the best thing is for us to own up to it. And that way we can make things better again. So as we lie here and we think about our adventure, and we're very proud of ourselves for being so brave. We breathe slowly before we slowly wiggle our toes and our fingers. We hug our knees into our chest and roll onto our sides, coming up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed that. You were brilliant. Now it's time for a wonderful burst of energy to refresh our brains with a brilliant brain break. Today we're going to take a ride on a magic carpet so that we arrive at the next thing we're doing with a clear head. Our carpet is waiting for us, but it's hovering quite high up, so we reach up in flamingo pose to get it. Take one arm all the way up and bring your opposite foot up into your hand, seeing if you can bring your heel to your bottom. Ooh, try not to wobble. Now we can't quite get it on that side, so let's try with the other side. Lowering your foot back down and your arm down, reach your other arm up 
And now see if you can catch hold of your other foot. Ooh, try not to wobble. Yes, uh, no, we still can't get it. So we put that foot down and we reach both hands up. Now, let's see if we can come high up onto our tippy tip toes. Oh, yeah, that's got it. We've got it. Now we slowly lower our heels back down and bend our knees as we press the magic carpet all the way down to the ground, coming into a little squat position. That's better. Now take your knees outside of your arms and sit back on your bottom and spread your legs nice and wide so we've got that magic carpet held in place. Oh, it's starting to take off. We take our arms out to the side to help ourselves balance. Now we're going to steer this carpet. We take our arm down to one side and then we stretch our other arm up and over our ear, maybe resting on our elbow. Oh, we're going right round the corner now. Let's go round the other corner. So we come back into the middle, arms wide, and then we stretch down onto the other side, placing our hand down, our elbow down, and then lifting our top arm up and over our ear. Wow, this is so cool. We're really enjoying this little ride. We come back to the centre. I think we should try and go a bit faster, don't you? Take your arms behind you and then keep your chest nice and open as you slowly fold forwards. Maybe bringing your hands now in front of you, but keeping your chest open, your shoulders back. Maybe you come down onto your elbow. Maybe you take your chest all the way down to the ground. Wherever you are, pause here and breathe. Wow, we're going so fast. We walk our hands back and we're starting to get up into the clouds. We take our arms wide and we start to steer ourselves around and around, weaving in and out of the clouds. And we go the other way as well. Way! This is so much fun. We're coming high up into the sky where the air is so clear and fresh. And slowly we come to stop as our magic carpet floats so easily. We lie ourselves all the way back on it, enjoying this lovely, peaceful feeling of being carried in the fresh air. Our minds feel super clear. Our body feels calm. And we feel ready for anything. We slowly come back up to sit and cross our legs, bringing our hands onto our knees. Our magic carpet has landed and so have we. Have a brilliant day, everyone. You were great. Well done, you. Now we have some yoga poses in the Yoga Pose universe for you to learn. It's great to become a master of these poses because when you come to do the adventures, you'll be amazing. I hope you love it. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Star Pose. Taking our feet nice and wide and our arms wide, we sparkle brightly like a big beautiful star, twinkling our fingers a little bit too to give us some extra sparkles. Now Star Pose is a brilliant pose to do because it makes you feel big and it's a big stretch for your whole back and body. It's wonderful! Now when we're in star pose, we feel extra sparkly positive vibes. So it's really good to think about someone else when you're in this pose. Let's do it now and send our positive sparkly vibes to them. Closing your eyes, think about someone who needs your sparkles. May you be happy, may you be well. Opening our eyes, that's real star power. Star Pose Bicycle Pose Coming down to lie on our backs 
we crisscross our fingers and put them behind our heads, lifting our shoulders a little bit. Then we lift our legs up and we pedal like we're pushing the pedals on our bicycle. And as we zoom along, we sing our special roly poly song. Here we go. Roly poly up, up, up. Roly poly down, down, down. Roly poly ever so slowly. Roly poly, roly poly, quick, quick, quick. Now, bicycle pose is very good for strengthening our core and the muscles in our sides, which are called obliques. And every time we push our pedals, we're stretching the backs of our legs. And that's where our hamstrings live. Mm. Oh, hi, guys. Keep going, everyone. Oh, 20 more miles to go. Hopefully, we'll make it back in time for dinner. Woo! Bicycle pose. Dance a pose, raising up your arm and taking your other arm to the side like you're a waiter holding a tray. Now lifting up one of your legs and seeing if you can catch your foot in your hand. Start to kick your foot into your hand, standing strong in your standing leg, starting to tilt forward a little bit as you kick, kick, kick your leg. Now dance a pose is great for stretching the whole of the front of your body, opening your chest and your shoulders. It's also good for learning how to balance, especially if you're focusing on a little spot in front of you. It's also good for strengthening your legs and your ankles. Now let's try it on the other side, lowering all the way back down and turning around. Let's reach our other arm up, take our hand to the side, catching our foot in our hands and starting, oh try not to wobble, to focus on a spot in front of you. Now kick your foot into your hand as you learn how to balance staying strong and still, kicking your foot into your hand, into your wonderful dancer pose. Oh wow, all these beautiful flowers for us. We've made it. We're the stars of the show. Dancer pose. was great well done you now let's get the volume turned up get ready to sing to dance and enjoy ourselves in the yoga disco hello everyone welcome to the cosmic kids yoga disco i'm jamie and this is your place for yoga dancing and lots of fun it's easy just copy the moves that i do and enjoy the disco this one's called Bunny Bounce, where we do our bunny hop move. Can you see the bunny bounce through the hedgerows and the fields? Then he stops and lifts his nose before kicking up his heels. We can all be bunnies too, if we crouch down on our toes. Wobbly, get set, go. Let's strike that bunny pose. Now to bounce, bounce, bounce. You put your hands down, down Then you hop up your feet To the bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop beat Do a little hop, do a big hop Bounce up, one, two, three Bounce, bounce, 
bounce, bounce, bunnies is all I see. Bounce like a bunny, hop like a bunny, bounce like a bunny, hop like a bunny. If you hop like a bunny, you can bounce like a bunny, you can hop till the day is done. How we love to bounce all day Skip and hop and jump and play Bouncing in the sun Being bunnies is so much fun That's the bunny bounce The bunny bounce The bunny bounce The bunny bounce Hop like a bunny, you can bounce like a bunny, you can hop till the day is done. Before we say goodbye, let's bunny bounce one more time. Now that hop is in your feet, let's go everyone with the bunny hop beat. Brilliant. Well done, you. Now we're going to get the wriggles out. We're going to use some energy with a really exciting game of super yoga. In super yoga, you copy the moves as they come down on the screen and you score points for doing the poses. And at the end, you get a lovely relaxation where all the goodness of the points goes into your body. I hope you love it. Super yoga. Fly pose. Airplane pose. Giraffe. 